partnership with Meta. How can I get started using Advantage Plus shopping campaigns alongside my current Meta ads? This is one of the most common questions I get asked. So today we're gonna dive into exactly how you can start utilizing Advantage Plus shopping campaigns and I'm gonna give you my advanced tips to make the most out of this really powerful tool. We're also gonna hear from some other experts along the way and I think you're gonna recognize a few of them. Maybe you've heard about how powerful these campaigns can be and you wanna test it out in the safest, most effective way possible. These campaigns have led to some incredible results for my clients and now it's something that I test on every single account. So let's talk about what meta ads used to look like. So maybe your campaigns look something like this now. And a brand's account structure can always vary depending on the amount of products they're selling, the different offers they have, and of course the budget. And I've shown several different structures over the years on this channel. A lot has changed over the last few years, and I actually think that Advantage Plus shopping campaigns are the biggest, most impactful change. In the meta days of old, campaign management was incredibly manual. First, there was targeting. So of course we had lookalikes, interests, and even broad audiences, many of which were still testing a little bit today, but I find that I do a lot less audience targeting these days. And a number of years ago, we actually took all these targeting options and segmented them out between age, gender, and even placement. This is called the Michigan method. Real OGs will know. It's not just the targeting that's been manual. Right? On the creative end, we had dynamic product ads or DPA ads. We had dynamic creative testing as well as our business as usual, normal standard ad creative, which also was not easy. <laughs> and of course there were the budget options between ad set budgeting and also CBO. If any of this sounds familiar, be sure to comment below. It's my personal belief that Meta made Advantage Plus because all of those options are no longer necessary to get great results on the platform. In fact, by trying to pull all those levers in 2023, you're likely making your results a lot worse. So how to get started with Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. Now the strategy behind these is really simple. Advantage Plus shopping campaigns cast a wider net so that your business can be connected with more people that are potentially interested in your product or service. And Advantage Plus shopping uses a spectrum of intent from explicit to implicit and then connects ads to people at all possible awareness levels from your tried and true customers who have already bought from you from your hot and ready customers who are getting ready to make their first purchase like literally any second all the way up to people who don't really know if they're interested in your product or service just yet i love advantage shopping campaigns because it accomplishes the job of google shopping and amazon mm -hmm. of taking high intent individuals and being able to sway them at the finish line to buy from you instead of somebody else. That's not a tool that mm. Facebook has had, and this does it better than anything Facebook has previously been able to do. Now, actually creating one of these campaigns is super simple. Um, for your campaign objective, you're gonna choose sales, and then you're gonna make sure the Advantage Plus shopping campaign is highlighted. You do not want to select manual. You're gonna name your campaign, scroll down, and really the only thing that you have to do here is set your daily budget and also import your ads. Now, the cool thing is that if you are using ad creative that's already performed really well for you, then you can import them here. And you can also create new ads. And if you are connected to Shopify, which I know many of you are, you can automatically create those dynamic catalog ads through your Shopify integration. And honestly, that's it. It used to take hours for me to build out campaigns and build out ad creatives, but with Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, it is so much easier and quicker and I feel like I'm just not wasting my time. So launching the campaign is super simple. So let's talk about the advanced Advantage Plus shopping tips that I have for you. Tip number one is to diversify your creative. When you have a variety of creative options, this gives Meta the best opportunity to connect the right ads with the right people. This is why I also encourage rapid format testing into popular performance creative formats. And this goes beyond just testing into carousels, videos, and images. This means testing into tried and true performance creative formats like UGC, before and afters, reviews, tutorials, us versus them. The reason why this is so important to do is because the new hook rate is more like one second, meaning that users are going to spend approximately one second deciding whether or not they want to visually engage further with your creative. And that's why rapid format testing is so powerful because you are actually testing how those ad creative concepts show up on the first second. And getting as many winners in these different formats is going to give you the best chance of success simply because 
different ad types and different ad formats appeal to different types of people. So the more unique creative winners you have, the more opportunities that you have to reach a wider net of people. Tip number two, test 10 to 15 of your top performing creatives, especially if this is your first Advantage Plus shopping campaign. I would go back and look at your historical top performers over the last year. Again, get about 10 to 15 and launch those in your first campaign. And again, practice creative diversity if possible. Try to find a wide range of top performing creatives if you have them. You cannot yep. take shitty ad creative and expect ASC to fix it. It will not. If anything, it's going to work like it's going to be really bad still. So you still have to focus on your the fundamentals of advertising of what makes a great ad and great ad creative and then use that in an ASC and then you get the additional scale. Tip number three, use static, video, and dynamic product ads in your Advantage Plus shopping campaign. Again, in the meta days of old, we used to have to separate our dynamic product ads from our business as usual ads. But in this case, you actually don't have to worry about separating your catalog ads from your regular ads. In fact, you should just keep them in one campaign. Tip number four, which is one of my favorites, is holiday campaigns are now super simple. Back in the day, you used to have to switch over all of your business as usual ad creatives to the holiday ad creatives. And this was especially a pain during Q4. But what's awesome now is when there's a holiday, like Q4 or Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I simply just launch an Advantage Plus shopping campaign and put all of my creative in that campaign. I don't have to go switching around creatives in my retargeting and remarketing campaigns. I don't have to do that in my prospecting campaigns. It's just way simpler now to just know that I'm already getting all of those audiences in the Advantage Plus shopping campaign. Yeah, I think Advantage Plus shopping during the holiday season is a tremendous opportunity for brands that are basically saying this, we have a market opportunity. Now, one of the mm -hmm. advantages of Advantage shopping is that it overly indexes in individuals that are in the buying behavior. It's basically the old behavior of engaged shoppers. Uh, like for those of you that remember 2018, 2017 Facebook, you duplicate your campaign, hit engage shoppers and it would crush. It's basically that as an ad platform now. I actually had a conversation with a brand uh, this morning and we're doing, we're gonna probably do about 35K a day for um, Advantage Shopping for the Black Friday period. And they don't really have anything that's special for Black Friday other than just some positioning. But exactly mm -hmm. what we're doing is we're building out to ads, very specifically using our best assets but recreating those ads to push forward the Black Friday messaging, running it in Advantage Shopping, knowing the best ads are gonna probably work great for two or three days and then die. If I've got 30 mm -hmm. of them, basically every day I'm gonna go turn off the ad that earned a bunch of spend and fell off a cliff. And all I'm gonna do yeah. is cycle through it. And by the end of 10 days, some ads didn't get a shot, I don't care. All I know mm -hmm. is that the net output of that campaign is going to be at or better than Target. And as long as that's happening, I'll lean into it. And if it's not happening, then whatever's earning a lion's share of the spend but not delivering the results gets turned off even faster. And it's yeah. very similar to what I would normally do in a broad and CBO with DCTs where I would just launch like 10, 15 DCTs and just turn off the bad ones. Just in advanced shopping, I'm indexing Facebook's data set of understanding who is already mid or bottom funnel, even if they don't even know about my brand. So my favorite strategy right now that I'm using is to dump every single ad creative that is also in my other like BAU campaigns into one giant ASC campaign and then launch it at like a very high budget. And I've seen that it's consistently been my top spending campaign during Black Friday um, out of all my sales so far with the lowest CPA. It just really performs well. And I see that it does well for like product drop, big sale moments. And I know that does kind of contradict what I said before about warming ads up. But I think if you know there's going to be a large lift, lift in ECVR, like expected conversion rate, it's going to perform well. And you can especially expect ASCs to, to shine during those moments. So what is that actually going to look like in practice when you launch your first Advantage Plus shopping campaign? Honestly, you're going to be able to run it alongside your business as usual campaigns. And what I have found is that launching the Advantage Plus shopping campaign with approximately 30% of your budget to start often will give you the best results. What I've ended up doing recently recently is I've started to turn off my retargeting campaigns, knowing that these audiences are absolutely being targeted in the Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. And honestly, that's it.
it's pretty simple to test these out. And what I found too over time is that I'm starting to shift more of the percentage of the budget into the Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. And again, when there are holiday periods like Q4, I am going ahead and just launching those Advantage Plus shopping campaigns and putting all that unique creative into those campaigns. And essentially, in order to test this out, you don't really have to do much. You're simply going to launch an Advantage Plus shopping campaign with your top performing creatives. And initially, I would start off that budget with 30% of your overall budget going to that Advantage Plus campaign. But over time, which is what I've seen for some of my clients too, we end up increasing that percentage budget. Now I am super curious about how Advantage Plus has been performing for your campaign, so be sure to leave a comment to let us know your experience. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.